Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard from Aula. Now they, they've been around for a minute. I have seen their boards here and there, but as of late, they really seem to be pushing some very interesting keyboards. Um, they're gonna be sending me a few for me to take a look at, but today I received the first one. And 98% or 1800 seem to be very popular at the moment, don't they? But the one they sent me to take a look at today is the Wind F98. This is a three-in-one. They have a white transparent version. They also have a black, gray, and green, a blue, white, and pink, and a brown, pink, and orange. All right, so first, let's see what we have in the box, besides the keyboard, obviously. We have a, all right, just a little user card, a basic explanation of some of the functions, now, Bluetooth connectivity. It does have Bluetooth 5.1. Not even 5.0, 5.1. That should be on the outside of the box. It should be listed as a feature. Uh, 2.4. Here we have three device slots, which is the standard. And we have 2.4 and the wire. This uses the 1, 2, 3 for Bluetooth. The 4 for 2.4. Oh, no. It uses the, the tilt for 2.4. And it uses the 4 for wire. Okay. And it has a, just a quick shortcut description to... Um, the keys that are not on here as well as the modes and the lighting mode switches. All right, we have a USB-C cable. It's a nice rubberized USB-A to USB-C cable. And we have a little bit more of a user manual that basically just seems to have the same thing that's on the um, user guide, though it does seem to have a few more brightness. Okay, it has the multimedia controls on here. All right. In this baggie, we have a microfiber cloth. Thank you. I like that. And a very nice brush. It's always appreciated when companies include little things like this, as well as a dust cover like this one does. We have your uh, kind of standard. I actually like these better because of the, the finger hole in the middle. It does much better. You got a much better grip um, or a little bit of leverage when you're pulling that switch out. We also have a few extra switches, which is always appreciated. All keyboards, all pre-built keyboards anyway, should include at least a handful of switches, depending on the size. Hmm, this is very interesting. Oh, it's a Leo Bog. I have, is it, just to make sure. It is a Leo Bog and I haven't yet come across a Leo Bog switch that I did not like, and they're actually fairly inexpensive. And this one actually has a... There's no ping, and that's a, that's a deep tone. I like this switch. It's interesting. I'm gonna, I might have to make a video just about this switch. <laughs> Let me put them back in the bag so I don't lose them. The keyboard does come with a dust cover, which is also very nice inclusion. I did not get the transparent one. Never mind. I thought I had gotten the transparent one, but I got what looks like a very similar to Godspeed. On first impression, I gotta say, I like this. This is a very interesting design. I like this little metallic badge up here next to the top arrow keys, or the top navigation cluster. And then we have another metallic plate here. Um, I would have just left the F98 model and not done the gasket transparent, especially since this one isn't the transparent version, which is fine. But it seems to be, I think that this could have been a little bit cooler. And I probably would have put the serial number like down here and put something cool here. Or just leave that, the markings and the model number. Um, all of this could have been in the plastic here. I, I'm nitpicking, mind you. I am really just nitpicking. We do have a 2.4 pocket, or we do have a pocket for the 2.4 USB receiver. Thank you. Thank you. This makes so much difference. This one actually has the name of the manufacturer on here. That's going to at least slim it down. If I've got a couple of hours, it's only going to take me a minute 
to figure out which one it goes to. I don't know how many of these I have sitting around. What does this go to? Which keyboard? I don't know. I need to write a piece of software that will allow me to fix, find these <laughs> and, and actually pair them to the keyboard they belong to. To me, that's the issue with these that don't have any sort of pocket or any way. I mean, if you don't have any space in the case, then at least add one of those clip-ons to the cable. Or even something on the back. I mean, come on. There's many ways to do this. All right, so taking a look at this design, we see right here that's got to be the side and... Oh, okay, just the side, but that's the uh, side glow. There's, you can see the profile there if I've got enough space. I actually like the cut. Of this keyboard it has a very nice weight it's not too heavy but it feels substantial uh, there's literally no flux to speak of uh, I mean a little bit but it ain't going anywhere oh, that hurt yeah uh, this is a pretty solid board I've got to say let's see what the lights look like all right We've got decent lights. We can actually see them, uh, despite being, you know, not having shine through keycaps. They are still coming through. We'll play with the modes here in a second. Just kind of wanted to get an idea. Well, let's see what we have as far as this goes. All right, so we do have north facing LEDs. I, I really like the switch. I mean, this is a Docking linear switch. No ping. No ping whatsoever. That is nice. Five pin compatibility, but north facing. I know, I know. And we are dealing with OEM. So you could have gone south facing without problem. Now taking a look at these keycaps. They are double shot, but they're only top double shot. That means only the top of it is going to increase the body width. So they're going to be what? 1.1? One, 1. 1. 1. That's what I thought. Right at the limit. But at least they're double shot. I'm a big fan of double shot. Don't get me wrong. Die sub sound just fine in most cases, especially if they're thicker. But I like full body double shot, preferably. So taking a look here, we do have what appears to be a light phone between the plate and the PCB and another light open cell phone down below now here's one thing that I'm noticing right off the bat we have a PC plate uh -huh. and this folks is what I'm talking about the game is changing we are getting much better products at still the same prices if not cheaper than even a year ago heck even six months ago these are good it's got a pc plate stock and it's got some pretty nice switches on top of that let's take a look at the stabilizers all right pop you off all right they're plate mounted stabilizers And they're a little loose. Not, nothing a little bit of tape won't fix right away. And let's check to see if I can have a nice surprise here. I don't think so, but I'm going to check. Nope. Does not look like we have... We do not have the holes to mount PCB stabilizers, screw-in stabilizers, so... Not a big deal when I come back to this keyboard, which I will be. I am definitely going to be adding some tape. Though, like I said, they're not extremely loose. They just need... Eh. They're looser than I'd like them to be, but I've seen much worse. But being that it's a PC plate, I'm just happy. <laughs> and like I said, I know a couple pieces of tape... And I'm good to go. Now, as far as the layout, we have your standard 1800 layout. Uh, we got the 1U uh, right modifiers. We got the 1. Point, yeah, that's a 1.75U. Um, shift key, right shift key, 
Uh, we've got the arrow cluster separated out enough and down to the bottom so that we can find it with our fingers when we're looking for it. We do only have the standard 1U uh, uh, zero key on the numpad, but that's becoming, uh, for most 1800s, that's just the standard. Unless they shift everything over, give this a full-size shift, and actually have this either down or closer, and then there's room. But there really isn't in this case. Now, the accents on this keyboard, like I said, these metal plates, they're very nice. I like that they can come off, and it's honestly a metal. I think I could do some pretty cool stuff with this, but that, that'll be when I come back to it. I do also like that we have a QC sticker there, and then it passed. Now, what does it sound like? I keep getting older. These in-stock keyboards keep getting better. This is a... This has got to be one of the... It's, it's going to be hard. I'm, I've got to keep track of these. Because more and more I'm finding myself saying, Wow, this keyboard sounds really great out of the box. I think this is one of the better ones I've heard of. Stock out of the box. But that's happening more and more often. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make a list and start gauging them. Now, obviously, it's just my opinion. But this keyboard sounds lovely stock. Um, those switches definitely have uh, something to do with it. That PC plate and the dampening also. Now, I'm, I, I like this. I like this keyboard. The only thing I would have added, and this is not a gripe against it, but... I love a knob up there. But I, that's that's why I have plenty of number pads with knobs on them, so it's not a big deal. But because if I'm using an 1800, it's already taking up a lot of space if I have to have the number pads. I'd like to see, probably giving it away, but it would be nice to have like a little clip-on knob that you could like piggyback onto the USB-C port so it basically has a port on the other end of it. That way you don't have to have two wires running. That's probably too much for too little payoff. I really like how this sounds. Oh, let's plug it in and see what the lights look like. Oh, well, we saw it before, but let's see. All right. Oh, no side lights. All right, so light mode switching is backslash. I don't see anything about the side, though. It's function right shift. Uh, they should have made that a little clearer. Okay, so there we can see the effects. I'm a sucker for side lights. Though I wish they all had a kit mode. <laughs> Night Rider. All right, so that we got figured out. Just took me a second. I thought function shift R. No, function right shift. You really should say right shift. But only took me a second to figure it out. Go to single colors. All right. So we do have a nice selection of colors here. And I mean, yeah, I know we don't have shine through keycaps, but we can see that these switches are actually doing a pretty good job of um, diffusing the light. And there we are with single colors. Oh, it's rainbow. Sweet. And go with the blue. Just the specs. Today we took a look at the Aula F98 3 mode 1800 with Bluetooth 5.1 low energy with three device slots. 2.4 gigahertz connectivity as well as USB-C. It comes preloaded with your choice of Leo Bog Gray V3 linear long pole switches or Ice Soul tactile switches also from Leo Bog. This is a gasket mounted north facing PCB with 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatibility. It does come with a PC plate and has dampening between both the PC plate and the PCB, as well as below the PCB in the case. It is 
preloaded with two 2,000 milliamp hour batteries for a total of 4,000 milliamp hours of juice. This keyboard weighs 1,074 grams and MSRPs for $89.99. It also comes preloaded with OEM double shot top keycaps, but I wasn't able to find if they're PVT or ABS, though if I had to guess, I would say PVT. The chin of this keyboard sits at 21 millimeters, while the back sits at 32 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 7 degrees. Lifting the first set of feet will raise the back up to 38 millimeters, providing an angle of 9 degrees. Using the final set of flip out feet will raise the back to 43 millimeters, changing your typing angle to 11 degrees. All right, so today we took a look at an Allen keyboard. I've got to say. I am very happy. I am quite impressed. I know this brand started with just gaming peripherals, and they have other gaming peripherals, but they seem to be really expanding their keyboard line, and I'm glad that this is the first one I've taken a look at uh, because this is a very nice keyboard. It has nice switches, has a PC plate, has these really cool metallic badges that are added that just gives me some really cool ideas for when I come back to mod it. It sounds very nice stock, even though the keycaps are a little bit thinner than I would like. They're not full double shot, just top double shot, but they're still nice. The RGB on this is quite bright. Um, I'm very, I'm just, I'm pleased with this keyboard. It, again, when I review keyboards, I try to do my best to be as open-minded about it. I don't read up as much. Don't get me wrong. There are some keyboards that I look forward to and I read everything there is to know about it before I get a chance to get my hands on it. But uh, with newer keyboards, I like to just be like, all right, blank slate. I know that it's a 98%. That's about as much as I know. This one's gasket mounted, PC plate, comes with some great switches. Now they say they're Leo Bog Grays, which I have Leo Bog Grays, but I must have a different version. These say they're V3, um, they're a different style, and they sound much nicer. They're just deep on their own. I honestly want to get me a batch separate so that I can try them on different keyboards, but they made a really good choice. And the other option is the ISOL tactile, which I um, I did try those switches and liked them a lot in um, another video, the C65 or C650 that I, I reviewed a little while back. But this keyboard, I have to say, it comes in several colorways, and I said white, but I thought it was going to be the white transparent, but I'm honestly glad that it's this one. Don't get me wrong, I like some of those transparent builds, but um, I think there's quite a few of them out there. This one is... It's nice. I like it. I am going to, after the sound test, I'm going to be putting it on. Right now I'm test driving the NJ98, I believe. So I've kind of been stuck on the uh, the 98% 1800s. So I I'm definitely going to give this a run because I like it. And it's already actually pre-programmed. I mean, one of the things that I, I just, I use insert a lot for some console programs that I use and I always mark, if there's not an insert key, I always do function delete for insert, and that's already mapped, even though we have it o over here as well. We have the delete. That's insert, but it doesn't say it, so it might not be. Usually, it's insert on other keyboards. But personally, I love the look of this keyboard. I like how it sounds straight out of the box. I am, uh, again, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting much or little. I just didn't have many expectations at all for this and I'm very happy I, I like this keyboard I'm definitely going to come back to it I think I can bring a little bit more life out of it um, with just a few simple mods um, obviously the Tempest tape mod I'll probably replace what we have under the case depending on what we got in there um, well I've got a few ideas but anyway this keyboard I could use I could use this as a daily driver basically as it is right now and there's very few keyboards i can say about that there's keyboards i like but i'm like hey i gotta do this 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 and this to it before i can use it as a daily this one i can throw it on my desk right now and it's going to be a great daily anyway i'd like to hear what you guys think about this do have do you guys have an Alla keyboard you have the f98 do you have the f98 pro which i just noticed looking up for this replaces this with a knob and a screen 
So I hope that I'll get a chance to review that one. What do you guys think of this keyboard? What do you guys think of the sound test? I think it's going to sound pretty good. It's going to be one of those keyboards that I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to make a list, a ranking list of the best out-of-the-box keyboards, and I think this one would be high up on that list. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys right now with um, a stock sound test, the Ala F98, and I'd love to hear you guys' opinions, and if you guys got any ideas for what you'd like me to do when I come back to mod it to see what kind of sounds I can finesse out of this, please leave them down in the comments below. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.